The next panelist today is Dr. Shikwe Ihekwedu. He is the Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. Uh, I would like to thank you for being here today. And my question for you is, what efforts are being undertaken by the Nigeria CDC to improve cholera surveillance and what key informing interventions will this improved data inform? I give you the floor, thank you very much. <clears throat> thank you, thank you very much, uh, Mark, and thanks for all that have joined uh, this webinar. Um, like several other epidemic-prone diseases in Nigeria, cholera surveillance has been carried out for years using the integrated disease surveillance uh, strategy. However, we remain stationary uh, for far too long using paper-based systems, Excel files that were sent from one level to the other. This meant that while cholera is actually an immediately notifiable disease in Nigeria and many other countries, the surveillance was just too slow to instigate the action that needed to be taken. Um, in addition to the slow reporting system, we also had challenges with our diagnostics. Most health workers in Nigeria depended only on the rapid diagnostic tests. And there were only a handful of labs with regular supplies uh, that could carry out cholera confirmation. So most cases that we had were not confirmed, were reported late, and there was a limited research around it to guide action. So over the past few years, what have we done? We've been improving our surveillance uh, using uh, a digital case-based surveillance uh, system called SOMAS. With SOMAS, we have a system that reduces time delays in reporting cholera cases, and indeed, all other infectious diseases that require immediate notification. This improved this improve the time it takes from detection to outbreak investigation and response. Uh, secondly, we've strengthened our event-based surveillance system using traditional and social media, as well as other means of, uh, sub to supplement the indicator-based surveillance system. And thirdly, we train healthcare workers at the health facility levels and local government levels on case identification, outbreak investigation, and response. Secondly, we improved our re laboratory testing, uh, strengthening the capacity of health workers to collect samples appropriately uh, using videos demonstrating that demonstrated sample collection, packaging, and transportation. We developed a forecasting system to understand the supplies that we needed every year for cholera diagnostics and make sure that we procured this well in advance of when we thought uh, from our historical surveillance data, outbreaks are more likely to happen. And our national reference lab added on capacity for cholera confirmation. And we now have, uh, we co-hosted a whole genome sequencing workshop at our lab uh, for three countries in West Africa, collaborating with the Johns Hopkins University. And finally, we've improved our research. We've conducted and published research focusing on cholera using a combination of quantitative, qualitative, and systematic uh, methods, systematic literature review methods. In, in 2018, we documented a large cholera outbreak in Nigeria, where we had a high attack rate, a high case fatality ratio in, in northern Nigeria. We also carried out a study to understand the drivers of cholera transmission in Nigeria, finding that they are caused by a diverse set, but functionally interrelated factors underlying the importance of a multi-sectoral uh, approach to cholera prevention and control. And thirdly, we reported on a reactive vaccination campaign against the cholera emergency in an IDP camp in Borno State in Nigeria. There was a high coverage of OCB using a door-to-door -door and fixed site strategies despite the insecurity in these regions. Uh, in this particular region in the northeast of Nigeria. Despite all of these areas, uh, efforts and improvements, uh, some challenges remain. Uh, we know that we need strong collaboration with the environment and water resources sectors to prevent cholera. That collaboration is not yet as good as we would like it to be, and we're working on it. Um, there's been global shortage of vaccines, especially at the national level. And therefore, we are limited in our speed and ability to instigate uh, reactive vaccination campaigns to small clusters of 
uh, cases as we might need to prevent the large outbreaks from happening that then require a whole big application uh, to be uh, implemented. And finally, uh, we're still struggling with having the right amount of human resources with the right capabilities. Uh, we've been faced with retirement and other forms of attrition, and we have to keep uh, building up these capacities. We are aware of these challenges. We continue to work hard to improve our surveillance and response, especially where we have the capacity and mandate to do so. It's work in progress. Are we where we want to be? We're not. Have we come a long way from where we were five years ago? Absolutely. And we'll keep improving uh, our surveillance system to make sure we can find, prevent cholera. That's the most important thing. But when it does happen, detect it early and start a response as early as possible. Thank you.